The day has come. We are back judging some more Bloxburg builds since it's winter time, Christmas, you know. I have on this winter hat to get with the vibe, you know. Oh no, I'm getting lag a bit. Guys, I do have some tragic news. My pink keyboard, the one that I did in fact drown in water, I think it's at its end of its life now. The backspace bar does not work anymore and it's really laggy and delayed. So I think I'm gonna have to retire it and get a new keyboard. It made it a good five, six years. So it had its course in life. The trees are an interesting color. Very bright, very vibrant, you know? It reminds me of the Lorax a little bit, but it's okay. I like the vines on this house. I don't think it's finished because it doesn't really have any gardening. Okay, we have some historical people on the wall. I have no idea who those people are. Bro, I saw this on Instagram. I literally saw this on Instagram and I was just like, I was like, bro, what? What is going on? Oh my god, do you see this? What? This is so random, but a really long time ago when I used to play Minecraft, I built a speed build from Minecraft and it looked just like the house right here. Dude, this is so pretty. The Korean architecture is so pretty. Like I wish I could visit there and see all this, but right now I feel like I'm living through it just by looking at this build. Also the leaves growing off of the build is just so pretty. It adds so much more, but like guys, just look at this. It's huge. Oh my god, they literally made the custom some food too. This custom chair is sick. Dude, look at this. It literally looks like a Bloxburg item. These are custom ovens, something of that sort. But the windows, the detail on the windows. Oh my God. Also the lamp here. Oh, and then we have the cherry blossoms in the pink area. Oh my God. Oh, and it hangs off the water. That's so cute. Dude, there's flying cherry blossom petals. All the little intricate decals used here are so pretty. I can't tell you enough how little details pull together a build so much. Oh, this gardening is insane. I wonder how much it does cost though. <gasps> Dude, the bridge. Oh my God. This bridge is stunning. Oh my God. The flowers. It just blends so nice with the landscape. <gasps> Tea area. This is, I think, a spa or massage. I love how open concept it is and how earthy it feels. It's It matches so well. This bed is so pretty. This build is insane. Like, what? There's no imperfections at all. Oh my god, the lanterns in the water too. Dude, what? This kind of goes more towards the 2020 style of building. Ah! Uh-oh, it got killed. Okay, I guess we're gonna stalk her other house then. Yeah, this is another 2020 style house. All the string lights. These bookshelves, dude, everyone used to use them as decor fillers because we did not have all the new stuff we had now. Also, this decal matches so perfectly with this little vibe here. I kind of want this decal for my build. That's really cute. I think the only issue with this build is just there's a little bit too much lighting in some areas, so you might just want to tone it down and use maybe linen for lighting. In this area right here, it's just super, super white, but otherwise, it looks good. This is by Fabian. I follow him on Instagram. He makes really good builds. This is like a very prestigious of a house. We have a sign, the Milanos. They got their whole last name and everything on the front of the house. But this is so pretty. Is this a custom shutter I see? This porch design, so underrated. Please people, do it more. Do it more. It's so good. What's it called? These are the rods and then the structural rods, which is really smart. I'm gonna take that as inspiration for my build. <gasps> is this a greenhouse? Oh, oh my god! Okay. I love this. The like little sun area. It's so smooth, dang. He must have used small grid and sweat out this really hard. Okay, look at these custom doors. Okay. I can finally identify what certain things are. So this is a doorbell. And then this is a rod. Exterior is amazing. He made Amazon packages for his house. That's really cute. Very genius because, you know... My house always has Amazon packages at the front door. It's not even from me. I mean, I order stuff, but my mom, she orders so much stuff from Amazon. And then she returns it all. So I'm like, what are you doing? First of all, this bouquet, I love the way the flowers on the bottom and then the leaves come out. Moment for this hallway, even though it's a long hallway, he made it where it's not plain. It looks different because there's pillars and the carpet and then these custom benches. So good. The grand staircase, Louis Vuitton, designer king. We love it. Oh my God, is that a dog? He made a dog, bro. We have have dogs in Bloxburg now, guys. That looks like a poodle. Ah, this view is so cute. Also, the poodle is in here once again. No, this is so nice. Oh my god, look, he's got the cord going up to the TV. I love when you do elevated steps up to something. It, it makes it seem so much more expensive and elegant. Oh, not the pregnancy test. Do you have something to tell us? Back in my uh, my Roblox high school days, people would do pregnancy role plays, and that was interesting to witness in the chat. I was like, whoa, what's going on? Kids' bedroom is so nice. Imagine having the LEDs under your bed. That's literally sick. Also, this huge bear reminds me of my little real Akuma. It's so well thought out, and I love the layout of this room because it's so big, but all the space is taken up in such a nice way. This build, I saw it on Twitter, and oh my god, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen because, dude, when I saw this on Twitter, I was like, this is not Bloxburg. This is way too good to 
to be blocks for. I mean, just look at this. This looks like Roblox Studio base model of an actual real life house. The detail is beyond insane. My favorite part already is just the leaves on the roof. Like what? That's so cute. The trees, bro. Hello? This is all custom decals, basic shapes. Absolutely insane. The entire house is up on a different floor. It's leveled. So there's just paths that keep going up and up and up until you reach the front door. These shutters are custom too. And then, ooh, the window. It is a work of art. Okay, this is Cheese's house. Oh, I love the gardening. These are decals. But we do need this texture in Bloxburg. Please, Bloxburg, add some better brick decals. Because the ones we have right now are just, they're not doing it. Ooh, we have tinted windows. You can't even see inside. Or not tinted windows, but privacy windows. Oh, this is the cabin lighting. Wait, no, it's not. This is structural. Wait, what? Is this cabin lighting or is this structure? Wait, is that a light? Is that a light? The outside doesn't look very complete. My advice would be to just add some gardening on the outside because it does look a little plain out here. If you remember my last touring builds video, our girl Holly, she loaded her plot and it was unfinished at the time, but now I think it is finished. So... Today, we get to see the final result, and I'm so happy because usually when I see a build that's unfinished when I'm doing my touring videos, I end up never seeing them again because it's kind of hard to get in the same server and all that stuff. So I'm gonna just go to the part that we haven't seen already, but here's the finished exterior. That is so pretty. Look at this, bro. She put a custom newspaper stand, and then she made her own custom newspaper, and I think that's just decals and string, but that is a genius hack. Loki might steal that for a TikTok hacks video. Just look at this entrance. Look at this door. It's all all custom and then look at all these little details like we literally have an arch going through it literally has the france flag everywhere oh my god we have a bridge over here with water <laughs> oh my god the back we have a dior display oh i love when people use decals and they match it so well to the build like here we have the dior building all around the build there's flowers and whatnot and she matches the decal with a model wearing flowers so genius is that a custom butterfly i need to find where she gets all these flowers from and steal them for my builds because those are so cute so we saw all this last time it was so pretty and then this was sort of the part that wasn't done just look at the display of all the desserts she's got it angled the decal theme matches so well with the build everything's white background with the grayish black text so it all matches super well oh my god look at this here's the checkout area and then on the back of it she has a little menu to go with it and look at this i love this okay so we have the display of all the desserts and then she put the prices down too this is such good inspiration for my own build the detail the custom counters like look at all that and then here she did little labels for salt and sugar look at this cabinet though this cabinet design is sick we're getting full on everything is custom she made a custom sandwich oh shoot this is huge reminds me of a bit of a mediterranean house this is the second one i've seen with the number or their last name on the house and i do like this it just gives your house so much more character so if you want to add on to the role-playing experience you'd be like oh come to my address Oh shoot, it's got its own little, what do you call the thing in the middle? Is it an atrium? So now I'm wondering if this is a hotel. Maybe this is just a mansion. Hotel, apartment complex. Oh my God. I've never seen the Barbie plot in person. Our girl Leah right here, she made the literal Barbie movie plot. This is insane because what? It looks just like the movie. She has it down so perfectly. The real world sign, custom doors, we're replicating the dollhouse. Literally even the texture, like everything's that plastic texture to match. Oh my god, she made the Barbie floaty. Oh, that's so cool. That's actually really impressive. She was able to shape the bee so nicely. Oh, okay. She made the Barbie bed with the shelf frame. This plot is so recognizable. If you've seen the movie or even if you haven't seen the Barbie movie, like, you know, this is Barbie. This is a dollhouse. Oh my god. I love this build style so much. The cute little traditional cottage. Also, these are custom trees. Where are you guys finding these? Or do you upload them yourself? Because your girl needs some help. The color scheme is so pretty. It's perfect for fall. And then the orange trees complement the color scheme so well. Also, this front door design is so pretty. Oh, the interior is so good. This color scheme is so pretty. It's more on the dark neutral side of fall. Ooh, custom doors. I love when houses look lived in. Like, put so much detail. Put a million decorations. This just looks lived in. It doesn't look clutter. Oh my god, look at these chairs. Those are structural, I believe, with a stool. Everything is so custom. We have this bin, custom cutting board. Ugh, I love this build so much. Caleb literally paid attention to every single detail of this house and made it slightly more elevated. It looks so nice. I will be stealing this idea for my kitchen builds because that is genius for cabinets. Vine, cafe, and library. Ooh, I love a good cafe and library. The best place to study is when you're in a quiet place filled with books. There is a little bit too much lighting. I would tone it down a bit because right here we have like a really excessive amount of glow. You can't really see this decal because of it. So just tone it down a bit, maybe. This build's not finished fully, but the theme 
and the aesthetic you're going for is really good. And this reminds me of Barnes & Noble because Barnes & Noble has the same color scheme as well. Studio A. This is probably, what is it called? Where they film. What are those things called? When you film a show behind the scenes and they're in these huge studios. All right, we're going to follow the arrows here. That's a lot of lights. I see the vision, but I don't think it's done. This could be a cool concept though. You could become the next Bloxburg news station. Maybe do some dividers and there's separate sets. Or maybe there's in the middle, there's a path that goes to the separate areas and sets just so it's not one big space. I thought this was Roblox Studio for a second. This looks like something you'd see in like, oh, what's those games? The driving games in Roblox? And you just drive around and see these cute little houses. If you know what Pacifico is, this is a house I feel like I would see in there. I love this texture right here. These are decals, but it looks so real. This literally looks like a Bloxburg texture. Bloxburg, please, please add this texture into the game. It's so nice. This is such a nice house structure. It's so classic. It's a very timeless looking build where no matter when you build it, it'll still look good. Ugh, the color scheme is so nice too. I love a good black and white minimalistic color scheme. This is just a bedroom plot, but I see someone on the wall. Who is that? <gasps> oh my god! Cigarettes after sex! Ah! 10 out of 10. I love them. If you put that in your build, instant 10 out of 10. We have another barbie sets dude this is so cute first off the first thing that catches my eye is this texture that is true to the barbie movie we love that also this b barbie logo perfect replica of a dollhouse because i remember so vividly when i had a dollhouse the door handle was a letter b for barbie obviously oh my god the pool's in a heart shape i was not expecting to see two barbie sets i'm not complaining i love barbies oh my god it's the girl twyla i love your name by the way and also your avatar is really really cute this is such a cute christmas house because it's not just plain christmas colors like we got pastels but i'm probably biased because i love pastels this snowflake path is so freaking cute i am gonna do this in my builds now thank you for the inspo the color scheme is so soft it reminds me of the sugar plum fairy sort of vibe where it's like the pastel blue purple and pink the color scheme is just top tier the kitchen color scheme is so so cute i love pastels also this sitting area oh i see one of my decals guys if you want some decals just follow my roblox account these curtains are so cute they got little ribbons on them the backyard has a pond and then if you really wanted you you could turn it into an ice rink during the winter time to fit the winter vibe oh my god her backs are just like mine we'd love to see it girl i love this color scheme now i want to use purple in my builds do not be afraid to use color twyla this build has my heart this is mugsy's plot this is unfinished but it's just so pretty we need to look at it anyway i have a very big fascination with anything with arches and pathways i don't know why but they're just so cute let's just look at the detail here the roof is all custom like do you see this what also the doors and the windows oh my god that is stunning it reminds me of a european castle or something you would see in a hidden kingdom and then you walk in this forest and then you just see this work of art the interior goes crazy oh my god the pillows are so cute and they match the vibe some of these are decal pillows and they have little writing on them but it matches the theme of the house which is so pretty oh my god the kitchen is crazy look at these drawers look at these counters i think this is craftsman style maybe i could be wrong but that's what it's reminding me of this flower is so pretty the fireplace has this fencing around it even if it's a tiny little detail it adds so much to the build also, what? Look at these tables. I love these doors too. The house isn't even done and it's better than all my houses. I believe we have some custom wall trim up here. No, this is structural. My bad. I thought it was a decal. Okay, interior is so cute. I love this little breakfast bar area. The warm lighting is growing on me. At first, I was like, this might be a little bit too yellow, but now I think I like it because it's super cozy. And the color scheme, the blue, complements the yellow, so it works. Maybe tone it down just a little bit, but it's not bad. I love modern houses. I don't see them that often, but I wish we did because geometric houses are just so pretty. They're so simple, but in a good way. First off, I love the arches you used. Also, color scheme this color bluish green it's kind of like a sage green but also a teal blue mixed together or not teal blue i don't know like that you know what type of blue i'm talking about i think my main suggestion right now would just to be change the lighting color to linen the white lighting kind of washes out the color scheme so if you did linen lighting it might complement the build a little better it may be simple but it's giving what it needs to we have so many realistic builds today but we are gonna continue we have brayden's house over here a whole christmas winter house i think he likes kanye just a little bit it's the first thing that catches my eye is this front door this is custom and we have this little arch sort of thing that goes around in a circle dude i wish i had my mouse right now but shift p shift p is nerfing me i think this lamp is custom but i know the door is custom the walls are all custom i mean look at all that dimension this is a tiktok hack you should watch my tiktok hack video i use the hack in that video so if you want to learn some cool ways to make your builds better you should watch it i love the color scheme it's very traditional winter it's not super christmasy 
but you can tell that this is perfect for a holiday home if you don't want to put all the crazy reindeer antlers and all that stuff. Brayden, you popped off. We have another fall house with some Halloween. I love this house structure. The style, it reminds me of a traditional family home. The fall touch to it and all the decorations are so pretty. The decor goes crazy. My first impression, maybe change the color scheme so it's a little more unified because I'm seeing a lot of random splats of color and also fill in the decals because the basic ones with the red just kill the contrast of the house. I'm a little confused on what the inside color scheme is supposed to be. Compared to the outside, they're very different because this build has this build does have a lot of potential. Just everything's not colored. Maybe they were doing the you can't color anything challenge. This woman is asking where I am. <gasps> oh my god! Guys! Another Barbie build. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. They just get better and better. Okay, first off, we have the literal Barbie box. Oh my god. I saw this one on Twitter, actually. She made her own decal too. Come join me for a Barbie dream house tour. I love how she did this. You could take pictures here. I love this. How did she do this? What is that? Oh my god. They're all basic shapes. She made the divider with all these little shapes. That's insane. Also, this chair is custom too. The tiling is spot on to the Barbie movie. Um, the lamp, bro? This is custom. I feel like I'm literally in a dollhouse. I love the amount of Barbie builds. Like, please keep keep making them. Barbie's vanity. She made it so spot on too. Like, look at all the detail. Oh, bro. First off, we have Barbie's wardrobe and look at the shoes. She made them look like the high heels with little stars and flowers. And look at the purse. Oh my God. And then we have more of the dividers here. And all oh, these are bees for Barbie. I think that's a decal, but I may be wrong. Oh, I love this curved sofa. Look at the fencing. Look at that detail. And also the lamppost, bro. These are also custom. Everyone follow queen moon snow dude you know those minecraft houses with the farms that's what the, i thought this was for a second i love how geometric it is like look at all those shapes look at this right it's floating and there's a path going through i love the botanical theme there's the grass and then you can put plants but i just love how there's different levels to the house and you could see all of them through the balconies we have a little courtyard area over here so i'm not really sure if this is just like a huge mansion with different complexes in it or if this is supposed to be some sort of company building or hotel in the future but but I really like the concept and it also does have that address thing again. Are you a bear? She is a bear. That's very cute. And her house looks like a little honeycomb. This, this is very fitting for her avatar. She's a bear. Her house is brown and yellow themed. So house matches her vibe. I love that though. When someone's house matches their personality, that's like perfect. Our girl Gabby over here has got a whole lot of explosives. I'm a little worried what she's gonna do with these, but um. America. Ooh, okay. Look at this. Apartment, townhouse. I don't know what they're called. It reminds me of an, a European home. First, let's look at the detail up here. The windows. Oh my God. I just wonder how long this took to make. The elevated house with the steps so pretty custom plants i don't think it's finished in here but i do like the layout but based on the outside this is really pretty i am a little worried on the side of your plot girl are you okay dude this freak joins and goes they're all trash and then leaves i know damn well the copy paster ain't talking my girl zay she wanted to be in the video but she couldn't make it at the time so we're going to judge her build through pictures so this is what she showed me first off the detail is so pretty like look at this little swoosh look at this bro i like the golden brown but just add a little accent this is really pretty I say this every time, but I swear every single video that I make, people just get better and better at building. Like, what? Thank you guys so much for joining my neighborhood and letting me put it in my video. And I'll see you guys next week. You know you love me. XOXO. XO. French Roses Girl.